In a move to save the country from an economic catastrophe, last night the Senate finally passed a plan to raise the debt ceiling. Yeah, Congress has until October 18th to resolve the issue. Raquel Martin joining us live this morning. Raquel, this is really only a temporary fix, though. Good morning. That's right. The package that the Senate passed last night will only keep the bills paid through early December. Ultimately, we saw no Republicans support the package, foreshadowing yet another partisan battle ahead. With a credit downgrade looming and time running out, Thursday the Senate passed a short-term deal to raise the debt ceiling. It is agreed to. After previously blocking the plan, 11 Republicans came on board to allow a vote, but ultimately zero backed the overall deal. Because I'm not in favor of what they want to spend it on. Missouri Republican Senator Josh Hawley says he refuses to help Democrats spend more money. I don't want to spend money on welfare benefits for illegal aliens. I don't want to spend money on tax increases for small business. I don't want to spend money on the Green New Deal. Democrats insist the money is for past spending. Following the vote, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer slammed Republicans for refusing to help. Republicans played a dangerous and risky partisan game. The short-term fix now heads to the Democrat-controlled House. Once passed, the Treasury Department will continue to be able to pay its bills, which includes Social Security benefits and paychecks for military troops. But Schumer says the plan is merely a Band-Aid. What is needed now is a long-term solution so we don't go through this risky drama every few months. He's calling on Republicans to return to the table to pass a broader plan by December. But Republicans argue the short-term plan should buy Democrats more time to resolve the broader issue, issue alone. And we also know that House lawmakers will be returning on Tuesday to pass the plan and send it to the president's desk. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.